Alright, we're back with our opening match with Gruel Vehicles here with a couple copies of Miglos instead of the uh, Love Struck Beasts. Obviously, that one's a mulligan. This hand isn't good, but I think on a Molda 6 you keep this hand because it's got functional mana and a removal spell. So, put back, I guess, basic forest here. All right, hand gets a little bit better, but not great against blue white control or possibly spirits, I suppose. Okay, looking to be more and more like an awkward blue white control hand. Um, punk could have March of Otherworldly Light here potentially It'd be my only guess why there's a sticking stop. Possibly. Uh, Octocycle sensor, yeah. So, blue white X control confirmed. Um, the pressure on our opponent. Let's not commit anything more to the board. <clears throat> Should have probably picked up uh, Garuda here, or Gigantamian. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Again, really no reason to commit anything to the board. And we can easily eat sensor here, so. Alright, does our opponent play a sweeper? If they do, how do we respond here? Feels like a pretty good chance this is uh, Wondering Emperor. All right. <clears throat> Maybe waiting till the end of turn. Oh, they're just going to make a 1 1. Sure. Seems pretty bad overall. This. Requires what? One, two, three, four, five. So they can make another one, one. Go ahead and fight through this. As we'll go ahead and force them to activate that field of ruin here. <clears throat> it's nice of them to do it pre combat, giving me access to another red source to go ahead and obliterate bolt this. How did our opponent keep a hand that was this clunky and weak? <clears throat> Verdict de la Suprema, sure. Okay, so. Not too much would play around here. Cycle a sensor. And if I'm not concedes. Really awkward start for blue eye control. Um, definitely want Arlen. We definitely want these. Could bring in Shaper Sanctuary, but they don't really have a ton of targeted stuff. 
could bring in these guys, could consider doing that. Obliterating Bolt's kind of middling. Um, the only card we could really worry about here is like Alira or um, Bane Slayer Angel potentially. Uh, da, 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 da. Could like go down this. And then. It doesn't have a ton of stuff that relies on the Grey Guard, but they do have some. Maybe go like this, I guess. So we will not build it. Use Gigantha, but Ember Cleave might be enough to justify that, so. Well, that's a hand. Don't think we can rely on a hand with those guys. Sin's fine, obviously very clunky. So. Could easily put me in the vault down, but. Get to play around the sensor this way. Once again, they could use March on that quite easily. Hole. Yep. Which one would we rather get counter? I guess this one. Nope. I guess they could easily have a copy of Govan the Veto, perhaps. Easy as game one is, I think this one's going to be, you know, it's easier with roll sometimes to actually have the mana than not, so I think this game's probably over at this point, if you know anything about blue-white control. Yep. Nope. <clears throat> Opponent leaving in a bunch of portable holes. Let's move on to game 30. Probably should have drawn there just to see if we could hit a land, but I think at that point, still don't really like any of this other stuff, so. <clears throat> so I would love to play first. This hand's a pretty decent opener for blue. Against blue white. Turn on nothing. Okay. We might just have to kill that immediately. <clears throat> Yeah, that's gonna give it haste if you don't kill it. Oops, question mark. And something like Divine Purge doesn't exist in this format, so you really have to cast nothing here. Could have absorb here, which would be painful absence. Interesting. I 
Verdict. Nope. Nothing. All right. <clears throat> Rules surprisingly more aggressive than people give it credit for sometimes. All right. Back with match number two. We're on the play. We have the god start with a couple of crone wars. So, seems pretty reasonable overall. Elf's dying. It's likely mono black. Hmm. <laughs> Sure. Bolt to deal with that. That goes to four. And everyone can see it. All right, so definitely want the Shaper Sanctuaries. Probably Arlen. Go down, especially on the draw. Those. And then copy the Crow and War on the draw. Get a little stinger rock. All right, we're a little bit light on lands than I like, but we'll keep it on the draw. <clears throat> Underdog, sure. Go ahead and kill this with that. Yep, just do nothing this turn. They could have shouldered here, which would be. Difficult to overcome, perhaps. Need to draw an untap land there, but we don't, so. They follow this up with, yeah, that's gonna be difficult to beat. Crone War, steal your shieldred. Oh, 
Yeah, kind of hard to beat. Double Invoke Despair in the Shielded. <laughs> Just saying. Discarding what? Chrome War. Red Horde General. So okay, that one. We'll play out our entire hand, I guess. Sure. Then our opponent will just let this attack go through and then kill us on the backswing. Maybe they'll even show us another card besides. Okay. Nope. Moving on. Decent opener. Particularly if our opponent doesn't have fatal push or some type of reaction or interaction, I should say, on one. <clears throat> the plus side over a mono black over Rakdos, obviously, you have more over the top cards, things like Invoke Despair and stuff. Downside. Your one and two interactions a little bit more pressured because you don't have things like Bone Crusher Giant, Blood Tithe Harvester, those kind of things. Instead, you're relying on things like uh, Noxious Grasp, uh, Tenacious Underdog. Not said they could have Fatal Push here, and it's like whatever. Okay, sure. We play a game of Magic and move on. So we're going to do this. Okay. 
looks like they don't have they have like noxious grasp or something in their hand which is really awkward for them right because like kills this doesn't kill mutavolt next turn's probably gonna just be grab gigantha and move on heartless axure Green, put Giganta in hand, pass. Downside of this is it turns uh, Night Pack, not Night Pack, the backside of Graveyard Trespasser becomes a bit more difficult to kill. So. Again, not letting our opponent do anything with their mana, which I am a okay with. We'll tap out for a shield rid. So. Do this one. Stormseeker. Okay, no blockers for our opponent. Obliterating bolt. One shoulder dead. Do you have another? Shadow's verdict. Yeah, it does basically nothing. Seek his chariot, does a seek his chariot things. And if you have a fatal push, you still can't stop the crewing. You can go to five. And you can see. Nice. Nice to pick up a win against both blue white control and mono black. Alright, back with our third match. Once again, kind of the god draw. So, if, if the elf doesn't die, that is. So, turn one elf, go. With turn one, human. Okay. So, do this. Let's try to run them over. Beep, 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 beep. We run over humans. Beep, beep, beep. Beep 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 Okay, presume our opponent has something caster as a human's deck. Folio would be the most obnoxious. Yeah. So are they gonna try to stay back and double block or are they gonna be e aggressive? Jicky in our hand. No, 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 no. Brutal Cathar. Badoop. Interesting. So, go ahead. Shoot you. Okay. <clears throat> All 
Alright, what you got, friend? Adeline! Okay. Okay, presumably kill something that's not failure. Actually, do we have lethal eight? Uh, no, we do not. Okay, so kill failure. Okay, now next turn, our opponent's got to tab out, presumably for something that doesn't gonna kill Sky Sovereign. As long as we survive this turn, we're good. On it with a brutal Cathar. Go ahead and crew the buggy. Sure, well, <laughs> we can really give them the go. Good games. Good game. Thing and good game well played all right so definitely want the rending volleys could bring in a scoos excuse me a curling war is a little slow we have a lot of little guys potentially can get caught up in the old uh failure problem Rest of the deck, you could bring an Arlen to make some blockers, but I think you just want to go max kill spell dot deck. So Yep, seems like a hand we want to okay. keep. But we could obviously have portable hole on one, which, or on two, which would be annoying, but it's whatever. Definitely keeping this hand. I don't want nothing on one. Seems a bit sketchy. Stalia just seems like such a good magic card, right? Um, let's play a big boy. Okay, apparently they're going to be a touch awkward spot with their land base. In the dark, aspirant. Sure. Literary 
bolts, kill this. Put you for five, and you'll like it. Just trying to buy time until we can get Sky Sovereign. Oh, that's. Oops. Oh, okay. I thought it was the time. Thought that was an oopsie on their part. Never mind. Made perfect sense. Alright, so we got ourselves a chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Sure. I'm cool if you're cool with that. Oh, the mana, the mana, the mana, the mana. They're mana on a mission. Okay. Why? Lertholia's lieutenant? No, oh, Thomas Bodyguard, sure. Which one do you protect? You're protecting Mutavolt. Okay. I mean, this isn't really going to get you anywhere per se. So we just block here. Take four. I mean, that attack was kind of dumb. So thanks, I guess. This kill your thing. Okay, and with your five power in play, us having a blocker back, I don't think you can win this game. Even if you go like Adeline here, recruitment officer, sure. Oh, sure. As if, you know, whatever was going on the battlefield wasn't bad enough. Uh, let's play you out. I think we can space safely go for lethal here. Use. Okay, we have no green mana anyway, so. Actually, let's eat a Thalia. Because it would still be the same crewing this way, we get to gain a life. Crew here. I mean, it looks like they got something here, but what would it be? Destroy evil. Sure. Block the four for take eight and die. Seems like a pretty reasonable run. All right, take a look at this hand. It's not the best of hands, but we do have one, two, three, so we'll keep it. All right, well, now suddenly we have one, two, one, three, four. If our opponent doesn't somehow have Fatal Push or Stomp, which seems unlikely because it's Rakdos, but. Okay. Oh, sure. Essence and attacking there, because our opponent could easily just trade and it'd be annoying. No blocks.
Another blood tithe harvester, sure. So, dork. Okay, so you can kill this guy, this guy. That's fine, I'm fine with that trade. I like in Fatal Push, Love Stark Beast, sure. It's like, how do I kill this? Oop, 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 oop. Are they going to go Blood Tithe Harvester Stomp to kill it? Nope. Maybe Shieldred? Oh, that's, that's a piece of candy. Pull it willingly go into four. And the fat sheep dies to a crow in war. All right, so we want that. We want those. Could consider bringing that in, but it's gonna kind of like this sideboarding, kind of minimal. Bring in the grindy stuff, trim on the mana dorks a little bit, and uh, So the Crone War is good, don't get me wrong, but it can suffer from diminishing returns, especially if you don't have a vehicle to crew, because then the opponent gets the creature back. Um, obviously, it's like our best way to deal with Shouldered, but Shouldered's already going to be a problem regardless, so. Sand's fine. I don't really want to mulligan against the Thoughtseize deck, um, so... And it's also not really relying on the mana dork, so if they kill it, they kill it, it's whatever. And it looks like they have a fatal push. So, opponent pushing, pushing good. So did I even play anything here? I feel like I just pass. Don't really want to give our opponent a chance to use their mana. <clears throat> okay, do this. Obviously, they could have a fatal push or something, but it's kind of whatever. So, we'll go ahead and eat the fatal push out of their yard. Now, obviously, could eat an our creature, gain some life, but. <clears throat> Yeah, Shieldred. 
We do in fact have shouldered. going for their fabled line. to kill your opponent does not have a fatal push <clears throat> now I get to kind of fix their draw a little bit gain some life your follow-up. Put it with the invoke despairs. This leaves us very dead to any type of removal spell, but I think if our opponent has anything anyway, we're just kind of toast, so. Yeah, the Fatal Push. Like I said, we could play around that, but I think we're just losing to uh, whatchamacallit eventually anyway, so. <clears throat> Bring another copy of Scooze, but doesn't seem like the right call. Could bring the fourth of Crow War back in. Over, I don't even know what. Not the best of hands, but not the worst of hands, so. Point is mulliganing, which is nice. One drop, two drop. Three drop more. Well, clearly has a fatal push or something in their hand, so. Push the one one now. All right, shoulders, sure. Do 
You wish to kill my elf. Obviously, they could have another Shield Resort Edict. We're not really playing around that well, so. Time for four mana into... Sweeper would be annoying. Shoulder the apocalypse. Sure. Your sweepers are kind of middling in this situation. And they concede. So nice 401 with Gruel. I don't know much more you want to say other than it might be, in my opinion, maybe the best deck in the format now. But, you know. <laughs> Alright, I mean, quick rep for Gruul. Uh, deck's too cool for school. Um, we added a couple Miglos to the deck over a couple copies of Love Struck Beast. This is something very similar to what's going on in the full blown Pioneer format. Um, you know, we've played against a myriad of different decks, both in Pioneer on the Pioneer channel and here on the Explorer channel. Um, you know, a deck like Mono White Humans is supposed to be a difficult matchup. We kind of destroy them. Uh, a deck like Rakdos and Mono Black, we beat both of them. We've beaten Mono Green. Uh, we beat Blue Eye Control, albeit Blue Eye Control struggling a little bit with our mana game one. Um, Miglos obviously gives you some outs to things like the various Fires decks, etc. Being able to blow up Leyline Bindings, you know, that kind of nonsense. Uh, this is still the all star of the deck. Um, it really makes the decks more aggressive things tick helps in full-blown pioneer with matchups like lotus field combo which i do believe is a deck that's getting closer to fruition um i haven't looked at the entire spoilers list for shadows and they're in the Strahd for arena but um i do believe some of the spirits cards are coming to, so you're going to finally see spell queller you're going to finally see um so you might see a resurgence of the spirits list that would be something to to compete against, you know, obviously, running volley, which already comes in against humans and humans, angels, spirits, and grease fang. So, might be the sideboard card of the deck right now. A crow and war, just doing a crow and war things. You know, it's a blank card against blue white control, blank card against some of the um, fires decks, especially if they have like their enchantment heavy destruction draw. But, uh, Absolutely kills it against uh, Mono Green, kills it against Rakdos, is helpful against Mono Black. Um, without this, you struggle to kill something like um, Shieldred. I think you'd have to go something with, like, Play With Fire to kill that. Uh, three mana. Um, I believe that's a three mana. Play With Fire. No, nope, the wrong card. Uh, fire. Well, there's a three mana something that's like nothing to the firebrand. Current I'm trying to remember fight with fire. Fight with no, fight with fire. Uh, deals five damage to target creature if the spell is kicked. Deals ten damage divided as you choose among any number of targets. Um. You'd really have to resort to something like that to kill Shieldred, and uh, you'd have nothing to kill Cavalier realistically as a one, as a one-shot thing. So, you know, fight with fire, definitely worse card than a Crow and War. So, um, as far as the sideboard, like I said, we've kind of used every piece of the Buffalo. Embercleave has matchups where it's good. Cinder Vines is good against the enchantment matchups as well as spell-based decks like Blue White Control. Shaper Sanctuary good against the the black removal spells, Arlen Pax Hope, just good in the grindy matchups, period. 
scavenging use and then license curse when you need more anti uh, um, when you need more anti grease fang stuff also will be relevant when Arclight Phoenix finally has all of its pieces to get to play Gigantha what's not to love about this deck so just keeps winning we just keep winning with it at a kind of an absurd clip so it's so certainly a deck you want to play if you want to level the ladder, if you want to do well in events, or if you just want to do well in the full Pioneer format. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like these kind of play videos, and hope to see you for next week's Explore gameplay video.